welcome all of you, the viewers of Berlin Daily. We take you today for a journey through movies. Here with us is a producer and a director, Tadeusz Seka from High Hope Studio. That's it. Thank you for the invitation. Yeah, and we are talking right now about the new war movie, full length, about the completely unknown history of the military chaplain Wyszyński and Matka Ruzaczacka. <laughs> military chaplain, of course, we all know him as a Cardinal Wyszyński, but you just finished a movie about him. In the previous episode, we talked a little bit about uh, his closest friend and also a person, a nun, who will be very soon uh, put as a noble or as a saint almost in the in the church, um, Ruzsa Czatka. Played as, she is played, as I understand, by um, Małgorzata, Małgorzata Kożuchowska. Exactly. So tell us about, again, so you've told in the previous episode that she established a uh, institution for all blind people in Laski, which is working until today. Right. And But what was also her connection to Wyszyński? They spent a time together during the Warsaw Uprising, so we can say easily that uh, the whole 1944 they spent together. So they had a chance to talk a lot about, um, let's say, their faith, their way uh, of the priesthood and so on. And later on, when the Warsaw Uprising came, they've been tested how they will be behave among all of those people who simply suffered. So, uh, and they passed the exam because right now they will be together beatify. What I want to say that um, we want to show in that story the beginning of the two saints, especially of the Wyszynski, because as he said later on in the 60s, that through the Warsaw Uprising, I was created. Yeah? And uh, for us, it's simply unbelievable how so far until that moment, we've been completely not aware of that fact from his life. So we want to simply change it. I don't know how the movie will be, you know, let's leave the comments to the viewers. But we are satisfied that at least we touched the topic and we want to show that part of his life and to, let's say, focus young people on this story. And in the movie you used also a few objects which are real and taken from the time. What are they exactly? Ah, uh, I, I cannot tell you everything because then you will not visit the cinemas, but uh, we can touch the story a little bit because during the, let's say, research, during the documentation process of all of the locations, because we shoot all of the movie, uh, let's say 99%, in the original locations, in the original buildings, and so on. So this is important. So you kind of also immortalize these places, which uh, survive until today, but we don't know how long or how long in this shape. We want to keep that. Through that movie, we want to save all of those locations. But during the documentary process, we find out that a special box. It was a box, a uh, shoe box, Wyszynski shoe box, and uh, the sisters uh, in 1944, they changed that box for the small, handy medical box. So Wyszynski used that during the Warsaw Uprising and he was running in the Puszcza Kampinowska, in the Kampinos area, with the medical staff for the soldiers. Amazing, so, so he yeah, was giving them aid also. That's it, and it shows how brave he was because uh, it shows also that he was not in the church all day and he was not praying. Of course, this is important to give the, 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 the spiritual power to the soldiers, but it also shows how brave he was. This is unbelievable. So he was a person, because Colonel Wyszynski is known, of course, as a great intellectual leader as well, of course, as a spiritual leader, but also as intellectual leader. So in this way that um, he, he kind of became um, a leading figure in, in, in the church, going, taking it through the whole PRL time, the whole communism time, when, of course, church was very much oppressed. But I would say through him and through Paul, John Paul II, um, the church was strengthened in many, in many ways. And he was also the one to support John Paul II to become That's a it. priest. That's it. We, we cannot forget about it. And we cannot forget about it that also Chatska support Wyszynski to become a saint. So we can see the chain between all of them. But I, tell me one thing. So Chatska lost her sight. Right. Yes, yeah, so she couldn't see anymore. Right. And so she stayed uh, in, this, in this place later on right. and helped other blind people, yes? That's it, yeah. And uh, this also shown how big role 
he she create actually right that she take all of the blinds from all of the Pol polish let's say hospitals she was for us a person when together with Małgorzata Kożuchowska we decided we need to show her in that movie yeah and i remember how she she Małgorzata treats that role very serious. She visited Lasky a few times, studied lots of notes of uh, Matka Czacka before she became blind, also from the Braille, uh, let's say, letters and so on. So it shows uh, how serious we treat that, that story. But uh, as Wyszynski also said that uh, the most important thing in the saint life is presence, that you are with the people. And uh, we want to show that in that movie as well, that he's together with the soldiers, with the blinds, even when the Germans are coming for the, let's say, visit to the hospitals, because they, they've been suspicious that maybe some Warsaw uprisers are among all of those uh, who are suffering in the, in, the, in the hospital. And we will wrap up this episode here, but it's becoming more and more interesting. And I hope the movie will appear in many movie theaters also in the world. And thank you very much for watching Perlan Daily. <laughs>